Hey guys, today I thought I would show you some of my tips for working with Final Cut Pro's scrolling title. The scrolling title is located in the title sidebar in the Credit subcategory. With my playhead parked at the start of this last clip, I'll press Q to connect it, then play back to show you what it looks like out of the box. Well, first off, the scroll is too fast. To change the speed, you simply need to change the duration of the title. I'll press the down arrow to move the playhead to the end of the title, press the right bracket key to select the out point, then using the accountant side of my keyboard, I'll type plus two period return to add two seconds to the title's duration. Playing back, the title is now slower. Next, I'll deal with the formatting in the text inspector. Let's deal with the font, the size, and the line spacing first. Select all the text in the text input box. In the font menu, I'll leave the font set for Gil Sans, but change it to semi-bold. At the bottom of the inspector, I'll turn off the outline, but leave the drop shadow enabled. Next, I'll deal with the text size and line spacing of the main body text by selecting just those items while excluding the masthead title. I'll enter 40 for text size and 50 for line spacing. For the masthead title, I'll click to set my cursor after the word, then enter 75 for the text size and minus 90 for the line spacing. While I'm here, I'll change the masthead to Canadian Camera Crew. Next, I need to deal with a gap between the text columns. Double-click the text box in the viewer to bring up the on-screen controls. At the top of the ruler are black arrows that determine the gap spacing. In the text input box, I'll select only the main body text, then drag the left-facing arrow to the left until it's sitting at or around 500. Then drag the right-facing arrow to the right until it's at or around 900. Click into the text box and press Escape to exit, and play back to see how it all looks so far. Great! Now I want my scroll to include the list of names from the US camera crew to follow right behind the scrolling list of the Canadian crew. Now the best way to deal with this is to create and work with copies of your title. The longer and more complex your scrolling titles become, the more difficult they become to work with. Trust me, it can be a nightmare. So here's my secret sauce. Move the playhead to the frame just as the last title clears the bottom of the frame. Select the title and press Command-C to copy it. Then Command-V to paste. Playing back, the next set of scrolling titles follows the first set and all the formatting is identical. What's really great is that if you need to create more space between each section, you simply need to move the incoming title later in time. There's another reason I like this approach. Let's say that I wanted to remove lines from the Canadian section. I'll select that title, then in the text input box, I'll select these bottom three lines and delete them. But here's a potential gotcha. You need to make sure that however many lines of text you delete, that there are the same number of carriage returns after the last line. Think of these as dummy lines that will ensure the scroll timing is consistent between each title set. If you don't do this, the incoming title set will eventually overtake the first title set because it has more lines to scroll through in the same amount of time. To adjust the gap created by the deleted lines, move the playhead to where the last title clears the bottom of the frame, then align the second title there and play back. Let's make a few other small modifications. With my playhead parked over the second title, I'll change the masthead to US Camera Crew. Then I'll place the cursor after the word and press the spacebar to add a character. From the edit menu, choose Emoji and Symbols. Earlier I saved two flag symbols as favorites. I'll double click the US flag to add it to the end of the masthead. Then I'll select the Canadian title section, place the cursor at the end of the masthead, add a space, then double click the Canadian flag. As a final touch, I'll move the playhead about halfway over the second title set. Press Command down arrow twice to select the clip on the primary storyline and press Command B. Then I'll select the clip on the right side of the cut and press Shift Delete to create a gap clip. At the cut point, I'll add a cross dissolve by pressing Command T. Let's play back the final result.
great. As always, let us know in the comments what you think. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.